What's great about reselling is just this. You can go on vacation. My Amazon books continue to sell. If I want to, my eBay sells. That's the, that's the fun of it. And you pick when you want to go. There is no dollar amount that you can put on that freedom as resellers that we have. Welcome, Mike, the Golden State Picker. I'm excited. I'm finally getting out of California for a while, heading to my home in North Carolina for three weeks. And we're going to see the grandkids and have some fun. We're going to do garage sailing with Adam. We'll shoot some footage. I'm sure we'll do that. And we'll put that on some videos. I know I will. And don't worry, I've got videos lined up for the entire time while I'm gone. Uh, so you will see those. This will be in whatever order it goes into. So just know that I'm probably be back by the time you see this video. But anyhow, looking forward to that. Got some stuff I need to do back there. Play some golf, all that kind of stuff. But we got a special video because this video has got a couple of cool things that I found. And also it's a double what we sold video because I'm putting back to back because I didn't have enough footage and I'm getting ready to leave. So I said, you know what? Let's make this one one big video of some things we found and two segments of what we sold. So stick around. There's some cool stuff throughout these videos. All right. Now, let's start off today. Today was garage sale day. That was it. Went out. Josh actually went out with me, had some fun. Father and son and all that kind of stuff. He found a couple of things. And then I found some things also. So I'm going to show you what I found. Right off the bat, here is a clock. Rock Arola Jute Boxes. Nice, huh? And it's got like a neon tube around it. Now, I made a semi made a mistake because I couldn't see it. Thought it was battery operated. It is the clock part, but the neon part has a little adapter up here. I missed it. Didn't think about it. And there was no adapter there. Otherwise, I would have saw it. So I'm going to sell. I paid five bucks. Now, I'm going to use this tool. You've heard me talk about it before. This is a multi function. Uh, power adapter. This thing is gold, people. Down below in my video description, there is a link to it to Amazon. Amazing. I think it's 20 bucks. It will pay for uh, itself probably the first, second time. Easy, okay? You need a toolkit, and I showed that it worked, okay? So I did that. I used that, and I explained I do not have that particular uh, uh, power source. So there you go. What will we get? Maybe $30, $35. Hopefully, if I had the power adapter, a little bit more. But we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to let that slow us down. All right. Now, um, early in the morning, love this right here. Uh, I had been to this garage sale a week or two prior, and they had another one. So I went out and popped out and said, hey, I got a couple things from it before. Look what I got now. Oh, yes. I got me some albums. Kiss. ACDC, Kiss, ACDC, more Kiss Unmasked, that is a cool one, Kiss Killers, and Double Platinum. I paid $4 each. Now, a few of these are probably going to go in my personal collection because they're Kiss. Kiss is hard to find, and um, so I will probably put those in my personal collection and just hold on to them. Uh, if not, they're all different price ranges about for quality of them and the grading. But anywhere average, probably about $25 an album. So very nice. I love Kiss. Uh, what's not to love about them? I mean, what a great American story, right? Started out in Detroit and it was not much of anything. And look at what it's grown into. A mass market of merchandising. Gene Simmons is brilliant and amazing. All right. Now, next one we went to. A uh, gentleman was like an electrician. He had a bunch of these kind of things. He had a bunch of breakers. Now, I can tell you my house has an old breaker panel, and they have the old Zinsco two, they call them two bar or whatever, two pole, and they are hard to find. So if you can find old breakers, you can make some good money. Dollar each is what I paid for these. And yep, the higher the amperage, the better, but these are 20, 20, so that's like 40, I think, double breaker. And then there's one big one, which is a 60, okay? Pretty cool. So anyhow, yeah, 20, 20, three twenties in a row, 60. So these sell for, you know, $25 on average. And I got four of them and that's a hundred dollars and I only paid a dollar each. So they may stay, st have to stay up for a little bit. Doesn't matter. 
put them away and I don't take up that much room and off you go. Now, this is what I was really after from him. I didn't know what he was gonna say price-wise on this. This was pretty crazy. And uh, he, this is what they are, okay? They are all brand new, obviously. This is a case of them. And he wanted to just get rid of them. They're by Legrand, okay? And they are watt stoppers. They are some kind of a device that stops the wattage. And when you walk in, you know, and it turns it on and off, that kind of thing. There are 10 of them. I paid a dollar each, $10 for the box. Yep, he was willing to deal. These are 40 to $50 each, easy, one listing, right? That's what we do, just one listing and off you go. So that's pretty good. Now, uh, people are asking me too, uh, I'm going on vacation, they go, what do I do? I put my store on vacation mode and I sell while time away. This time's a little trickier. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be gone more than 15 days this trip. So usually I time it to where it's 15 days, it's two weeks, but this time we said, let's try three weeks, see how we like it. And um, uh, it's gonna be a little tricky. So I'm thinking about advancing my handling time on the first two, three, four days and see what happens. Usually when you put your store on sale, the first couple of days, it takes a little while. You don't get that many sales. So I'm hoping that instead of just shutting my store down for four or five days, then turning it back on and uh, doing that by extending my handling, I have normally have three days, maybe I'll push it to six or seven. eBay doesn't like that sometimes, but you know what? Hey, it's our life, that's the way I look at it. You know what, eBay, I really don't care. Personally, it's like, it's me, it's my store. You, It's like these companies sometimes, like this is a little mini rant, but these companies sometimes try to influence you so much. You know, oh, we really don't like this. Okay, well, whatever, you know what? Why do you have to step into my life more times than, you know, you should, basically. Sorry, I just had to go off on that little bit. That's my own personal opinion. But, you know, they'll put that up there. Hey, we kind of don't think that's good for the customer. Well, you know what? I communicate with the customers. There you go. Boo-hoo. All right. Now, went to, I'm going to see I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in, in order. So I'm going to leave that behind. It was golf club day also. You know I love golf clubs. I'm telling you guys, you got to get involved in golf clubs if you're not. First garage sale was pretty close to my house. So we went out. Josh said, hey, golf clubs day. I had nice spot in them right away. Josh got something else. I went over. The guy said $8 for all these golf clubs, okay? And um, here is what we're looking for, right? Pitching wedge, okay? This is a, a Cobra, and uh, I think it's a BioCell, something like that. But this one here, again, probably $30 to $40, okay? We paid $8 for all of them. I want to show you one that's kind of interesting. Now, I just got a bunch of these speed blades. Remember, I sold three of them if you've watched my videos. This one I picked up, it's a left-handed pitching wedge, okay? That's a nine iron, I'm sorry, it's a nine iron. But remember, we gotta talk about flex. And here it is, there's a different flex, L. Ladies flex, okay? Usually you can tell the grip is just a little bit smaller. So we will see what we can get with that. Let's call that 35 right there. Now, this one is kind of interesting. And it's like this. And the sock, the head cover looks old looking. I'm like, man, what in the heck? And so this is it, it's, it's a Cobra, okay? And there it is, okay, very nice. But I wanna show you one feature because we always teach, we always want you to understand what you're selling. So if you have to answer a question, you can. And this was a new one to me even. I hadn't seen this. Do you see this little hole right here? And it says 22 degrees. Remember I talked about the key? For some reason, they've got a key weight here, and that's a Torque X, and this one looks like an Allen head in there. So I don't know if this came with two keys, but I don't have the key, which is no big deal. But what happens is you can adjust this to 22 degrees to 19 degrees. Very interesting. I didn't know that. So even I learned something, okay? Uh, and that's what you got. Those are the subtle things that make the difference. This is $60. The flex is also going to help me, right? This flex is stiff. So this, generally speaking, I think the stiffs can sell a little bit stronger than uh, the others. But anyhow, nice little find. Now, he had a mismatched set. I just want to talk about it. This is Shrixon, and these are forged. You'll see the word forged here. Remember I talk about soft metal? I kind of want to show you here. These have a lot of little dings on them. 
the forged clubs tend to ding easier, okay? Now this is a like uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't be afraid. I remember I paid $8, right? I'm gonna see if I can get this set out of here for 50. I don't know, look. I know that they can sell for two to 300, but I'm gonna see if a mini set like this will get 50 to 75. I don't know, I'm not gonna push it. I wanna move them. I only paid $8, right? So that's the other thing that we gotta do is think about you know what we can do. Those individual clubs probably will sell better. I don't know, but that will sell better if we price it really aggressive is what I'm saying. All right, now we went to another garage sale. Networking, another picker said, Mike, go to this one tomorrow. That's how it works. This this lady helps me out a lot. She showed me a picture last night on a text, and I said, okay, I'm going. And here we go. Boom. Academy Award. No, it's not. It's not. What is it? People are looking at it. It's super, super cool. It is by Lennox. Okay, I will tell you that. And it takes a second. Most of you probably know what it is. It is a martini shaker, right? There you go. Okay. The lid comes off, too. It's by Lennox. I did pay $10, okay, no problem. It sells for $60 to $80 probably, right in that range. It is just so cool. And I love it. Yeah, a little more. That's great. Love finding stuff like that. Those are the things that are super cool. All right. Um, let's go to this one here. Same same garage sale. Look at this. Beautiful. And I looked at it. I go, okay, is there is there something on it? Yes, there is. And it's... Uh, at Coma Austin, you'll see it right there, Coma Austin, 1982, I think, 1982. It's a sculpture of some sort, you know, cat, obviously they reproduced them. 100 bucks, I paid 15 for that. And I think I can get a, somebody's got one up for 189. Uh, I'll undercut that a little bit, maybe go one, 130 and see if somebody pops in with 100. Yeah, I'll take it, but, um, it's pretty obvious. See, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, but it screams different. And then I look for the mark. That's it. That's how simple that is, right? Um, nothing spectacular. I don't do anything super, super crazy on that. All right, we got two more. I'm gonna show you this one. Then I gotta just make a cut so I can clean this up and bring you a very large item. Stay tuned for that. It is, I think it's super cool. So this one's cool too. All right, here we go. Same garage seal. Look at this. Nice, huh? Beautiful. It's a, what they call a bass relief carving. And it's of a carousel horse and it is painted, okay? And this is by a gentleman. And this really helps you is when everything's on the back, right? There it is. George Updergraft, Updergraft, 1984. So it's on there. And there is a little brief description of him. And it's pretty old. You can see the paperwork. And it says that he was, after 29 years in the computer business, uh, George turned to a self-taught hobby of woodcraft carving. He went to uh, Germany to uh, take a tutelage under a famous carver there. And then the rest of his life, he was a carver. So nice. I, I love stuff like that. I actually photographed this hanging on my wall. It looks super cool. I mean, it, reselling, we are so lucky, are we not? When you think about it, all of the cool stuff that we could find, I mean, uh, uh, I wish I could decorate my house and every piece, I, I could just envision how cool it would be, right? That be on the wall, sculptor would be, sculpture would be somewhere, okay? All right, let me cut real quick, I'll be right back, I'm gonna show you another very cool item. All right, I'm back, now. I promised myself I wouldn't do these anymore, <laughs> not for a while. And I told my wife, uh, she said, what'd you get? I, I said, okay. I said, it was just too cool to pass up. And uh, you'll see why I had to kind of cut it to clean to get this out here. And uh, we were at that garage sale and this was screaming at me. I hate that. Here we go. Take a look at this beauty. Look at that. I wish you could see it in person. The coloring, it is like a cobalt blue lamp, mid-century modern. The cord will help you tell you, okay? Look at the wooden base, awesome. $20, $20. Bucks. So $15 for the, for the sculpture, $20 for the wood carving, this, and then $10 for the Lennox, all there. I think it was coming out to $60. Bucks. Wow, right? Nice, nice lamp. Told myself I wouldn't do it. 
but I'm gonna try and sell this one locally. I think it's just too cool. I'm gonna be patient and try that. I don't wanna ship this, it just looks, I probably could and I might if it gets down to that, have to, but I will have to package this baby. This, this to me is, this I could see in my house. Remember, we just talked about it, right? I just think this is absolutely amazing, all right? There you go, all right, now, we're gonna get into the what sold portion. There are gonna be two halves here. Probably wear a different shirt and one, so you'll see that. But stick around, I got a couple of cool things that we did sell, so uh, thanks, we'll see you in a second. All right, everybody, hey, welcome back. We are gonna show you the things that we sold in this first portion. I might add on a little section at the end if I find some more stuff. Getting ready to go out to North Carolina, so I wanna jam everything in, and I don't want you to miss out on some cool things that I sell. The stories behind them, what you're looking for, all that kind of stuff. So let's uh, get rolling. We have $720 on this segment. One day on this one. This is a full day. It has picked up a little bit. We've talked about that. Moving better. A uh, mixture of books, gate. We got a little bit of everything. Something cool I'll talk about when other pickers missed that I got. Okay. Let's get right through it. Let's, I'm um, right through it. Let's get right to it. Ah, one of my favorites. J. Vernon McGee, and this is Through the Bible. Now, five-volume set. I think the sixth is an index. And this is, oh my gosh, what volume do I have here? I don't even know what I have. Four and five. I have volume four and five. I don't know where one, two, and three went. I have no clue what happened to those. And McGee sold for $25 plus $10 on the shipping side. So that is nice. Now, my wife is going through, uh, her mother has this exact same set, and uh, she's going through it right now. She's kind of reading through it, and she's got a nice uh, Bible study she's going to, so she's doing good with that. It just ended, so summertime's here, and they're taking a break. All right, now, uh, this came out of a garage sale. Bought a bunch of DVDs, a bunch of other stuff, and paid very little for the whole thing. And this is uh, Two and a Half Men, uh, Charlie Sheen, Tiger Blood, remember? <laughs> Charlie got wacky, oh, did he ever. And uh, so this is one through seven. I think there's more than seven, but uh, somebody gave me an offer. $25 plus $8 on the shipping side. Take that all day long. I'll put these down here. And here, this, now... I'm, I'm conflicted when I do my bins because there's a lot of good lots that I can make, but I just, a space is a major factor and I, I can really get overrun. I could do a lot of stuff with those bins and I'm trying to figure it out and uh, stuff like this. This is Dune, okay, a little four book set. I just want to price it fair and move it, get it going. This little four book set of Dune, this is the Berkeley, I think is what this one is, uh, press, but anyhow. Four book set of a Dune sold for fifteen plus eight dollars on the shipping side. Nice little stack there. One more. We'll show you another book. I think this might be the last book. This is going to be it. I think. Yeah. Now blocked on Amazon. That that happens a lot. It happens more than you think. And I think it happens to more people who are newer on Amazon even right now. They're getting blocked. Introduction to Linear Algebra, fifth edition. Excellent condition, so very good. I don't like to put like new or anything like that because then somebody's gonna find something wrong. I always undergrade a hair. This could be like new, but I put it at very good. I mean, yeah, very good. Whew, wake up. And the Algebra book, 50 plus free shipping. That's where it goes. Now, I had prices. I, had, I mean, I had people giving me best offer 20. I had one give me 10. Block that person. I don't deal with that. You got a book up for 50 and it sells consistently at 50, then you keep it at 50. You, the, the reason I leave best offer on is because I'm either going to have to answer their email or, you know, that kind of thing. So, or I'm going to leave it off on the next five because it auto sets and it doesn't, you know, and I forget. So I just leave it on all the time. That's how I operate with Best Offer. Just leave it and deal with all the other issues as they come up. And we had like 10 items. This is like 10. This is a cool one. I went back to my friend's locker. He's got a lot of games and this was in there. The Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. Again, a lot of silly offers on this one. Uh, again, we know where it sells. It sells between 40 and $50 pretty consistently. That's where it's gonna stay. 
Um, I took a best offer of 45 plus 15. I was offering it for 49.95. 45 is fair. That's a fair offer. And uh, 16 shipping with uh, ground advantage on the United States Postal has been very good. So we will get rid of that. I have a lot more games. So uh, just putting them up as we we're trying to put more and more up right now. We've got uh, try to get that stack down. I had 200. I'm probably down to 100. So. Yeah, wild. All right, here we go. Now, here we go. Let's get to the golf portion. Oops, it broke. No, it didn't break. This is crazy. Us golfers, we golfers, we are nuts. What is this thing? This is what they call a Medicus. There it is. It's a five iron, Medicus five iron. And it's a training aid. And when you take it back, if you hit it right, it will not snap. If you jump at your backswing, so let's say you're up here and you're, you're at the top of your backswing and you jump, it snaps. So you're trying to become better tempo, smoother. You see how it goes through there? If I don't jump, it will stay hinged. So, oh, long story. But anyhow, these are golf training aids and there's a lot of them out there. And the Medicus is $30 plus $15 on the shipping side. So very nice. Uh, find. I pay no more than two to five bucks for those. That's all I'll pay. And up next, this one, I stuck around a while and I finally took uh, an offer. Uh, I had it up for a hundred and I took an offer of 70. There are times when you've got to let it go. Uh, I didn't pay much more than I think 12 or 15 bucks at Savers. This is a bongo drum stand. Bongos, it's a stand for bongos. That's basically what it is. And uh, brand new, they're about 125, I think. And this is like brand new. And I took 70 plus 30 on the shipping. Let's see if I can make about 10 bucks on the shipping. We will see. That'll help out with the fees and me lowering the price. So we will take a look at that. Uh, I'm looking around, I got a couple more over here. I got to reach for them. Uh, this one, oh, I got them way out of range, sorry. Here we go. This is a garage sale connections okay and this is james burke i think is his name and uh five dvd set crazy i paid i think i paid one uh, there's a whole lot of them and then uh a fritz and floyd thing and i think i paid 10 bucks for everything that i got there this sold for 110 dollars plus eight dollar shipping these are some of my favorite finds at garage sales stuff like this I mean, there's a lot of stuff at garage sales that are cool that we find that people just don't realize the value of. And that is one of them. Now, going back to my friend's locker, I'm going to show you something here that is parts. Yeah, it is a Star Trek chess set. Now, I have it all wrapped up for a reason. Because if you had the chess pieces, they'd be underneath here. There's a little this hinges off and then underneath you can put the chess pieces in a little uh, tray. <sighs> no chess pieces. But the board itself sold sold quickly. I looked around to see what was going on with it and it seemed about 50 bucks. So I sold it for 48 plus $24 shipping. Um, super nice, right? Um, we are now over $13,000 on my friend's locker and we're gonna probably get to 14 pretty quick with this big run of games that I'm putting up. So uh, it's been a very profitable locker, as they say. So uh, one more, this one's a cool one. And uh, Josh was away, <laughs> okay? So he, he didn't know about this until today when I sold it. I forgot to tell him. In Savers, up high, walk in, this little area, all the pickers are, are kind of standing around. And there's several of them, and many of them are very good pickers. And these two were sitting on the shelf. See them? Just like that. Oh, I got some. What do I got down here? It was like hooked on a rubber band. So there are two of these. Now, they just look cool. And I went up to them, and I looked at them, and nobody out there were $8.99 each, and nobody's looking at them. And they they already looked at them. One picker said, Mike, I don't think they're worth more than $60. And I'm like, what are you, what's going on here? Got to be more than that. Now, who are they made by? Okay, red sticker in there. I'm going to try and show you. Tama, but it says Japan. That's a good thing. It's made in Japan. And these two little drums I sold for $300 plus, what did we get for the shipping? $30 shipping. All these pickers around. So that's the thing. 
you you know, I'm in a very busy area, which is San Jose, California, and this stuff is out there. It was it stuck out like a sore thumb. It was this high. That was the height that I was looking at it when I saw it. Right there, right at my eye level. And uh, they had all kind of looked at it and passed on them. They, it's like they're passing. They just, many don't want to deal with it because they are afraid to ship this kind of stuff. This is easy. This stuff to me is easy. It's, you know, it's not going to get busted up. You just got to, you know, do a little bit of packaging. It's not glass. I'll take it all day long. So just like I, just like I was telling you, it, it is out there constantly. So you just got to keep looking. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. So if this is the end of the video, thank you for subscribing. If not, it's going to go a little bit further and we'll show you some more stuff. If, if we've got it, I'm trying to get this stuff out before I go to North Carolina. So all right, everybody, we're back to show you the second part of what we sold. I magically changed back into my red gingham shirt from blue. Anyhow, let's take a look at what we, uh, what we sold. We have $560 in this little run. This is one day. I'll give you time. I'm getting ready to go to uh, North Carolina, so I got a couple of days. How am I gonna How am I gonna do that? Sunday, I'm gonna put the Sunday at midnight. I'm be up at midnight. Boom! The store goes on sale. We put the store on sale. We put the store on time away, and we sell while we do it. And hopefully, we're gonna extend our handling time a bit to get us when I get back. I'm coming back on a Saturday this time. I want to give myself an extra two days, Monday and Tuesday, to make sure I can get this stuff out. So I'm going to come back on a Saturday. All day Sunday, I'm going to ship. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm probably going to go do books on Monday. And then I'm going to ship the rest of the day. So that's the plan. That's how you got to do it. What's great about reselling is just this. You can go on vacation. My Amazon books continue to sell. If I want to, my eBay sells. That's the, that's the fun of it. And you pick when you want to go. There is no dollar amount that you can put on that freedom as resellers that we have. Now, I had a business, but it was retail and it was a store. And there was a lot more pressure involved in that because the store was open seven days a week. I had employees. You could have a problem, all that kind of stuff. So this is a little bit different. One man show here. Shut it down. Go for three weeks and have fun. There you go. All right. Let's get going. Let's rock and roll. This one took me a while to find because I kept shifting it around. Don't you love that when you shift it around and you know where it's at, but you just can't quite put your you know, finger on it. This is Jane Austen, The Complete Novels. Now, when I first got this out of my bin of books, I did an ISBN search on Amazon and it doesn't fly on FBA. It just doesn't. So put it up on eBay and I said, you know what, let's just put 50 and let's take see if we can get a best offer. And that's sometimes how I use the best offer. Put something up, like because I'm in my bin, and I'll put it up for 50, knowing that I'm pretty much going to take almost anything unless it's really ridiculous. <clears throat> so, for example, this was 50. I took 30. I was more than willing to take $30 for Jane Austen. That's what I got, $30 and $12 on the shipping side. So, very cool there. All right. Ah, I love it. Insect repellent. I'm going to need some of this when I get back in North Carolina. My One thing my daughter always told me, I got a little gnat here. One thing my daughter told me when she moved back there was the bugs were bigger. Tell me if that's true back there, if you all think it's the bugs are bigger back in the uh, East Coast than the West Coast. And uh, we're going to have the cicadas this year, so I don't know if we're going to be affected. It's a double event, so that's going to be interesting. So I might need some of this. This is Premium Insect Repellent by Sawyer. I paid $4.99 minus 20% at Savers, and I got one more two-bottle set. And this is $35 plus free shipping. This is the second one I sold, so $70 so far on the insect repellent. That's the other great thing about reselling. We can talk about it all day long. We just find the coolest stuff. Just look at this video. Look what I found and look what I've sold. Just fascinating, right? That is what is so fun. That's where the enthusiasm comes. It's not the same monotonous thing over and over. If we're doing it right, we're always finding cool stuff. We're always meeting cool people. Can't, you just can't make it up, right? Let me reach for a few of these here. I have to pull a few of these over. These are been a book items. Now, um, I'm going to show you. I just got a big lot of um, science fiction books. Now, I didn't didn't sell them, but I wanted to show you. So I will lot big lots like this. This is a 185 uh, book lot of paperback science fiction. They do better than the hardbacks. 
and I'm going to lot those up and sell those. I'm hoping to get 150 to 200 ish. They don't sell for a lot, but get get it. I like to move it right, and especially on those. But I have repeat buyers. That's the other thing. If you have repeat buyers and a, a good following, they're going to alert themselves. If they're paperback people like science fiction, they'll be back. I've got several of the. I have one right here in a minute. Now, this is a paperback. This was a science fiction one that I've had for a while. They don't take up a lot of space. Condition is good. Who is it? Dean Koontz. Okay. Dean Koontz. And this book sold for, what was it? Science fiction book. It was like $18. I can't even find it. Paperback, 18 plus 7. So that's what I'll do. Sometimes I'll look through the paperbacks to to figure out, hey, is there one that's worth something? You got it's the other problem. You got to kind of look through them and you can you kind of figure it out, but you still got to do that. Another Bible, New Spirit Filled Life Bible. That is Jack Hayford. And he has got a lot of stuff out there. Uh, you know, J. Vernon McGee's out there. Uh, but Jack Hayford is pretty popular. Spirit Filled, that is his Bible. And it sold for $20 plus $7 on the shipping side. Put that down there. Now, here's the repeat buyer. I know this guy, he always is buying Bibles, okay? But he only buys certain ones, really good ones. And so I know when I've sold one to him and it's quick, he's doing, he knows what he's doing as well as I kind of know what I'm doing. But this one here is the New Open Bible, King James, New King James Version, large print edition. This is a really nice Bible. Just clean, okay? Boy, I like, I like, you know what you do when you feel a good Bible? And this is... Uh, bonded leather, not genuine, but when you hold it, you just go, man, that's just a really nice Bible. And this one sold for $40 plus $8 shipping. So nice one there. Ah, da, 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 where are we going? Uh, oh, we got to go to this one. In, in a box. Oh, this is a heavy duty one. Far Side, the complete Far Side by Gary Larson, three volume set. Now, could have sold this on Amazon. Now I'll explain why we don't. It's too darn heavy, number one. So it just eats up a lot of weight out of your box. You're allowed 50 pounds in a box. And it has about a $30 net profit. Um, I didn't sell this for a lot, but I just get worried about this one getting damaged in there, dropped, all that kind of stuff. So I sold this one on eBay. Far side, 40 plus 15. Came out of my bin of books. So I'm already paid for one bin of the books with just the stuff you kind of have seen already. So very cool there, right? Ah, I'm gonna save these three. We're gonna go to this one here. Now, this was an interesting back and forth we went. Um, you remember I got these, okay? What are they? You watch me hold them up. A little bit closer look. Chopstick holders, little chopstick holders. And they're by La Crusade. Anyhow, one lady came in and offered me 27 free ship. She's in San Francisco. She came back, got another one, 25. Got another one, 25. So either she's a business or got a big table, but she paid $77 right here, okay, for these. And then I got somebody besides her who came in and bought the Christmas ones. These were the Christmas, the little star shapes and tree. And that person, that one gave me um, I think it was 35 so 35 so $112 for all of these and what we pay I think we paid about 10 or $12 for all of them so look for the brands right La Crusade it's just very interesting so all of those sold very nice sale now the category that a lot of people will get freaked out of or maybe just don't think about it hearing aid stuff especially the chargers. This is a Octacon. Okay, there's the brand, so you'll you'll see it. I have sold hearing aids, okay? Now this one's a hearing aid charger. A hearing aid charger, I got this out of my um, Honey Hole thrift store. Remember I pile a bunch of stuff, odds and ends that they don't know what to do with sometimes. And it sold for 75 plus $8 shipping. So super sweet little deal there. Now, uh, I'm looking around because I'm gonna proceed. Let's go with this one, we'll save that one for last. Two to go. You saw me pick up this, Sony Walkman AM FM 499, and then two Iowa uh, cassette players. 
I had to hope this one played. I didn't have the cassette with me there and it was in a bag. I'm just gonna buy it anyhow because if I can sell it for parts, I will. Working, we're talking 125, 150. You need a cassette tape. I tell people, build your tool box. There's a cassette tape, an old cassette, some batteries, and then you need a regular 2.5 millimeter set of headphones. I got several of those. You also need the adapter to go from the 2.5 to the bigger uh, jack. So the, in the older stereos, you can test that. So keep that in mind. And uh, this Sony does not work. It works on the radio side. The belts, like everything, there's these little plastic belts, rubber belts, and I think they're gone. And I can't fix that, and I don't want to fix it. $65 plus $8 shipping, still good money. So both the Iowa's, one for 30 and one for about 25 because the other one didn't work. So you're talking uh, $115, $120 for about $12 worth of uh, money, right? Nice. Now, here is another tip for you. This one is a graphics card, okay? There it is. And this graphics card's a GeoForce, okay? Really excellent condition. I think this thing is like really nice. GeoForce GTX, okay? Now, all over the place um, as far as comps, but as far as people giving me offers. And I declined all of them and stood pat. You hear me talk, when you know you have something that's gonna, gonna sell for your price, kind of stick to it. And I did. It sold for $125 plus $17 shipping. So that's what it sold for. We took it out of the computer unit that's down here. There's that little white thing. You can't you just see it, but it's the, the case. And I haven't taken out the motherboard yet, which I will hopefully do tomorrow. And we paid $19.99 for the whole thing. The case is going to go on Facebook Marketplace. And this sold for $125. Now, something that can help you out are these anti-static bags. Now, I've had a bunch of these sitting around. And you can put this thing in this anti-static bag. And when the buyer gets that, he goes, oh, that's cool. They take care of their buyers. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. The little things like that. So buy stuff like that when you're thinking about it or when you got electronics like this to keep them in the electronic stat electrostatic bags. I know I had it in this, okay, but it was just sitting down there. But for shipping, that's what it's going in right there. So cool. All right. That's the end of the second one. And thank you again for everybody who watches my channel. And uh, uh, you'll get videos because I'm uh, going to be in North Carolina, but the videos are already preloaded. And that, you know, you people people think that it's easy being a reseller slash YouTuber. And I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know that there's a lot more behind the scenes to putting all of this together, especially when I have to put eight or nine videos in a row together all that kind of stuff, because I'm not very good at this part. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can do it, but it does take time. And I do it because I want you to get better in your reselling and see what an old guy like me, old guy Mike, you know, old, you know, you see me wear my t-shirts, right? Old guys rule. And uh, there's a reason for that. I mean, very confident. Get out there. You can do this if I can do this. And uh, again, don't forget, the only thing we ever ask is to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification, and two videos a week. Give us a look every so often. That's all I ask for. And uh, I will see you in my next video, and hopefully we'll have some footage from North Carolina. So, see you then.